Podcast. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic. Getting to know you tag. Now, one of my favorites on YouTube did this tag. And since I only have like two subscribers, I think it's like seven, and thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, can you tell I've been doing candles? <laughs> you know, did, I never get tagged for anything. <laughs> so, but that's fine. I tag myself. So this is why, you know, I tag myself. Yeah, toss that. And it was, um, Leia Mouse who did this, and it's the getting to know you tag. And there's ten questions, and I thought it'd be, yeah, what the hell fun to do. And there's, there's also a, um, thirteen strange facts about you, but most of the facts about me are strange, so I don't think I could limit it to thirteen, so <laughs> I think I forgo that tag. So I figured, you know, to anybody who might actually care, I would do this tag. If I can, you know, Read the notes that are now covered in wax. Question one. What is your name? I hate the sound of my name. I actually kept my original... Well, my maiden name, which would be my original name, because my last name has the same sort of screeching sound as my first name, and if you just say the whole thing together, it's like your ear, ear drums bleed. So, <laughs> so but my, my first name is Heidi. Okay, I hate my name. I hate saying my name. It's like my mouth, it's like if I bit into a lemon, though I like lemons. <laughs> you know, it's like, it feels horrible in my mouth. Now, I probably said this in other videos, I don't remember. Parents need to really freaking think when they name their kid. You know, your kid ain't going to be two years old forever. They're going to spend more time as an adult as they are going to be kids. So if you're naming your kid Bambi or something like that, you know, unless you want them to be a stripper later in life, no. I like the names that are nice and, you know, classical, like, you know, Elizabeth, or, or Arthur, and James, and, you know, Guinevere, and, you know, nice names like that. <laughs> I'd even accept Adelaide, or, is it Adelaide or Adelheid? I think it's the same name. I'll have to look. It's a, a German name. And, of course, you know, <laughs> mother would have to name me after that damn book. And the scary thing is, holy mother of God, I lived like Heidi, okay? I My, my friggin' life had paralleled the damn book, because I spent a lot of time, most of my youth, pretty much with my grandparents. Both of them, not just the one of them. It's like, and you would go over the hills, and, you know, it's like, why? So I hate my name, especially when you meet every dumbass in Christendom with a freaking dog, and my, doctor's ha got, my doctor has a horse named Heidi. I mean, fortunately... I don't think they'd quite name their children much, and now it's their pets, so it just makes me like, me hate my first name. And it's like, seriously, when you're two or five, you can get away with it. When you're 90, it just doesn't quite cut it anymore, you know? I mean, my middle name is Lynn. I'd much rather have that as a first name. It's much more classical and easier to say and less painful on the ears. So that is my name. Mm -hmm. What is your age? I'm a damn sight older than you think I am. At the Summerfest, somebody thought I was about 20, which is what I usually get. Between, depending maybe on what I'm wearing or how I have my hair, it's between maybe 18 and 20. At about a decade and a half. <laughs> I am, actually, and have just turned in May 36. In four years, I will be 40. Now, whether it's because I have a ball for a head, I don't know, because I have, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no features whatsoever. If it wasn't for my double chin, I wouldn't have one. So I do have that young-looking face, and I'm also very short in stature too. So I kind of, you know, aim towards that, anyways. And it's always been that way. After I'd graduated, I was walking on the street one time, and somebody's like, "How come you're not in school? <laughs> graduated two years ago. Do I really need to be in school?" <laughs> it's just, and it's just the way it was. It was like pissed me off. I, I can't, like, use it to, like, save money, like, you know, if you're, like, 20 or 15 and under or something like that. I can't quite squeeze that. <laughs> Darn. But, uh, yeah, I'm a lot older than anything I am. But it's a double-edged sword because people might not take you as seriously. They might not treat you as an adult. But then I find people don't treat each other as adults anyway. <laughs> but uh, I can also kind of get away with doing more youthful things like coloring my hair wild colors and I find that the fashion that I find more me is more in the kids section so thank you fat kids for existing because I can fit in like the fatter kids clothes <laughs> which are much more interesting because the adult clothes are like so 
boring and no personality to them and so I can kind of play both sides of the fence so I'm really old where do I live as I mentioned before New England Whoa. <laughs> I was like everybody's never pleased with where they actually are but uh, I mean it's I don't mind living in New England it's you know you you always have a sense of history if you live in New England especially if I live in Massachusetts so you kind of have to realize okay Boston exists and Boston is important I'm on the other side of the state so it's like you know almost like an island <laughs> compared to the rest of the state because you have Boston goes about two hours and then you have the rest of the state you know it's like the backyard of Boston and it's funny because the Bostonian accent and the rich people's accent that are by the Cape kind of fades the farther out towards New York you get <laughs> so I don't know if I have a New England accent to you or not but uh, it's really kind of funny because we can really pick it up and it's nice as far as the environment when you're not having tornadoes and heat waves and things that shouldn't be here you know the nice fall foliage and things like that and the funny thing is the foliage is pretty much the same regardless of where you are in New England yet somehow you have to be in another state to appreciate it <laughs> we used to go up to Vermont like the leaves are any much any different than they are here in Massachusetts and I don't know but that's just what you do in New England and you know you, you're aware of like American history and things like that because it all started here you know maybe in Pennsylvania which I did live at one point uh, what are your interests I'll take you on a tour here and this is question number four as you can tell, shopping at the Goodwill is... <laughs> I, I delude myself into thinking it's for, like, purpose for feeding into my crafts, which is true, but I'm a chicken, like the shop, so... <laughs> it's hardwired into our, our, you know, psyches. But as far as interests, I shall take you on a somewhat tour. Now, this is the majority of what I use my cloth for or clothing for at the Goodwill and I got this at Walmart and it comes with like a sticker they say fashion faces it's just a sticker and the thread would always get caught in the corner so I just peeled it off and wrote on what the different things were and I added that little thing in the corner it's a magnet so when you're taking your pins out and I'm just too lazy to go that much farther I just stick them there so sewing is one of my latest skills and that's my ye old ancient um wax melter do flicky so I've been doing candles which is here so crafting is definitely a <laughs> it's a finished piece here it, it, it was just scraps of what I had left over some of my favorite materials the different feeling of them so I just sort of threw it up as sort of an artwork thingy um, that's definitely an interest Every time we go to the Renaissance Fair, I always wanted to come away with a knife or a sharp pointed object of some sort. In the last couple of years, they've been really expensive and not remotely interesting whatsoever. So I don't know if you can see that particular one here. That's one of my favorites. It's an Egyptian styled one where you have a scarab, a winged scarab, and a goddess. Probably, there's no real, you know, identification as far as which goddess. This is the back of the, the, this, the dagger and the dagger is wavy that's one of my favorite daggers that's one of the first ones I got the black one there so that's my dagger tree I do have a sword too so yes sharp pointy weapons are an interest of mine love to have a crossbow I do have an actual bow bow but it's too big for my puny little arms to fire this is only a small collection of my DVDs that are buried and that's a question coming up, so I'll answer that later. Um, enough said. <laughs> I'm a Trekkie and proud of it. I'm a TOS Trekkie, by the way. So I was not happy with the last movie, though I'm glad it kind of brought back the, the original series. was cool, and we'd have no other of the series if it wasn't for the original series. So these are some of my favorites. I have the Nine Inch Dolls in the other room, but... Transformers fan, G1 rock on and so help me if you're a G1 fan definitely check out Transformers Prime it is an awesome show uh, is another thing of one of my interests is medicine and I have a medical library the jaw fell down on my 
glow-in-the-dark skull there. It's in that area somewhere. So that's a small spattering of my <laughs> interests. And here's my little gothy collection. This is nothing compared to what I have in the living room. <laughs> and yes, I like it. I love the fact that the alien has an attache case in his cell phone. <laughs> it just made me laugh. I made that little pin cushion up top there, the camo one. And that was a uh, find at the Goodwill, too. I just happened to look, you know, was walking out, and I'm like, gosh, that looks like, you know, Phantom-like. And I looked at it, oh my god, it is the Phantom. And it plays all I, no, it plays, I can't reach, can I? It plays an actual clip from the actual show of Phantom of the Opera. So I'm like, yeah, gonna be mine. I'm also interested in ancient Egyptian history, and I've literally been, you know, dabbling, studying. I'm still interested in it, it's literally since before I can remember. I mean, I found a Christmas list from when I was six, and I think I've mentioned this before, that, uh, you know, it's like, what do you want for Christmas? And of course, they never set any gu guidelines, so I'm like, a trip to Egypt. So, <laughs> I was interested in it since I've been six, and probably way beforehand. So, and you can usually tell in other videos the massive collection of crap that I make stuff out of, so <laughs> I'm interested in those type of things. I bore easily, so, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm into everything and anything. Okay, question five. I never said this was going to be a short video. <clears throat> what kind of music do you listen to? You'll be good to Google. I pretty much hate anything modern. I mean, seriously, once Britney came out, music pretty much died. And any, any of that kind of teeny bopper, instant famous person music sucks. I like Kelly Clarkson, like Lady Gaga, love Adam At um, Lambert. And Adam Lambert heading up Queen, match made in heaven. Um, but I've, thanks to YouTube and various subscribers mentioning different bands, have discovered things in Europe where they actually have talent. Oh, crap. Okay. If, if, my, if my video is like wobbling and it looks like it's slightly turning. <clears throat> okay. If you see shaking, it's because I'm like two inches away from a train. So I think a train's going by, so. <laughs> I think that's what happened here, so I had to like switch things. But like I said, like, a lot of them were from Adora Brat, 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 <laughs> which is really hard to say. And I, through her, I found um, Crew Shadows or Cro Crook Shadows. <laughs> he did explain how to, how to pronounce them, and I forgot. They're actually an American band, but they, you know, we have no taste in music, so they usually do over in Europe. Um, Ice and Funk are totally hysterical. I love their videos. And through her, I found Emily Autumn. Love Emily Autumn. I mean, she's just so fascinating. I wish I was, you know, could talk that much and be that interesting. <laughs> um, hmm. Love Queen. Okay, I love Queen. Freddie Mercury Queen. He, ugh. I mean, I would have loved to seen him in an actual opera, especially playing, like, Puccini, you know, the, the, the clown, la, 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 I can't opera at any point, but, you know, that particular opera. I can't remember. F you know, playing Figaro, I think it was the clown's name. I mean, that just... It would just been amazing. And he did do an opera album. He just had that that sound to it, you know? And it's just love for Mercury. And I am an 80s whore. You know, anything from the 80s. If I'm on Second Life and there's an 80s party, I am so there. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, very few songs from the 80s sucked. And I just have been, you know, playing some Adam Ant. And I love... It's, I just love the exuberance and the silliness and the fun of that music, you know? You don't have that nowadays, it's like, so, it's, and I love, you know, Evanescence, it's a very dark and brooding sound, it's like, oh, well, then I go thick, and I'm like, I don't care, I just like the sound, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm more of the aesthetic, visual aspect of goth, and that type of thing, the music, it depends on what mood I'm in, because, I mean, I like classical music, I, I mean, the whole genres, you know, funny thing was, my friend was, you know, more straight laced and stuff like that, and I was kind of more what they would see in the metalhead, but I was the one listening to classical music, and she was the one listening to, like, Cinderella and Poison and all that. <laughs> so it was funny. Eh, what movies do you watch? All, uh, large buried 
DVD collection. Um, I have all the Star Wars in various different formats, and <laughs> I have one, two, four versions of Star Wars, and not the 3D version, which, eh, I don't know. The only one I'd want to see in 3D would be Jedi. Speeder chase. Uh, pretty much every Disney movie up until, like, Tangled, which I don't have, and I love that movie. Indiana Jones, all the Transformers, all the Star Trek movies, I think, yeah, up until the last one. So, you know, comic book movies, those are the type of things I like, but the, the ones that, the shows and stuff I like the most are any, in every documentary. <laughs> I mean, that's mostly what I watch, other than, you know, I don't really watch much of the movies anymore, or the shows. It's mostly documentaries, because I love science documentaries, like The Universe, and, um... There's another one, too, in history documentaries. You know, that's the primary thing that I watch. Uh, who do you watch on YouTube? Love Leia Mouse. Leah Mouse. I always want to call her Leia Mouse. I don't know, just the way that's the word. But she says it's Leah Mouse. <laughs> so, Leah Mouse. And... I don't know, it just... I'd, I'd probably, like, totally flake if I met her, because she seems like she's such a bold person. And she said herself she's more like me, where she's more shy and resigned. <laughs> so I'm like, it, they, they are just the cutest damn couple to watch, her and her husband Kevin. It's just hysterical, you know? It's like, I wish I was that interesting, you know? And they're just, you know, vlogging up, you know, um, Walmart and things like that, doing just normal, everyday things. But for some damn reason, she's just fun to watch. <laughs> I'm so jealous of you. Um, let's see. Who else do I watch? Vintage or tacky? Now, I'm not a guru on any sort of level, and my makeup skills are poor, to say the least. And it's been so hot lately, so I haven't put anything on to, for my lovely public, so <laughs> you get to see me on my natural glory. But, uh, vintage or tacky is just fun, because... And her name's Cora, and my great-grandmother's name was Cora. And she's an actual real woman with, like, a, you know, flesh on her bones, you know? And she's stunning, too. And she does these amazing looks, you know, makeup looks and all that, so and she's just fun to watch. And I watch Mischievous. She lives in Switzerland. And she's more more classy and more upscale. A more upscale makeup guru, but she's not like a snob. <laughs> you know, she's somebody you could probably relate to, but she's a little more <laughs> high class. And she does some amazing looks too. She just went through Paris and did some things like that. So she's she's very interesting. She goes she, you know, shows different things in the areas, so... I really like her. Love androgenetics. I'm a straight female, but I love these guys. <laughs> or ladies, and they dress each other as ladies, so I'll address them as ladies. Love Michael James. He's, he's the one in England. I love them all, and I'm so happy they got rid of Bruce. I hated Bruce. And Jason is just very, very 1950s classy, so I'm, I love love the new, new guy, new lady. <laughs> And each one has such a unique personality, and they're just so much fun to watch. Michael James is in Britain. Yami Maya is Mexican who's living in Germany. Em is over here in the States. Jason is in the States. And um, Sebastian Simon, I think, is in Denmark. And they're such... They're just fun, interesting individuals. And I actually came across them through Spyrex, I think through different makeup tutorials. I don't know what I was searching for, because that's how I find a lot of these people. I might Google, not Google, but YouTube something I'm looking for, and they, like, never ship you to where you want to go, and you find these things in the sidebar. Well, that looks kind of interesting, and that takes you to other places, so that's kind of where I found a lot of these things. So I love androgenetics. And... I like the Crafty Gemini which is where a lot of my sewing skills, quote-unquote, <laughs> have come from. So, props to her. Mm, graveyard Girl. Love Graveyard Girl. I want her personality. <laughs> Seriously. And those shoes. Oh, I, like, want to reach into the thing and, like, throttle her for all those spiked shoes she has. Wish I could have a couple hundred bucks to drop on some of those boots with the... Oh. And she's just got this, like, hey, everybody, it's Bunny, and it's like, hi. <laughs> it's just, just, when she says that, it just makes you happy, you know? Love, love Graveyard Girl. Definitely check her out. And the last one, though there's, like, a plethora of more, Foamy the Squirrel. I am 
you know, he is my lord and master. You cannot deny the logic of the squirrel. Totally. My favorite favorite episodes are the Amneville toaster and pretty much any squirrel songs. And one of the first ones where it's just Jermaine in the graveyard and Foamy's doing all these weird things in the background. It's so funny. I think I've gotten Russ addicted to Foamy the squirrel. And Pilsy's hysterical too, so. And he's from Connecticut too, so he's, you know, <laughs> pretty much a neighbor. The last thing, finally, number eight, interesting fact about you. Are any of the facts about me really interesting? <laughs> I really don't know. But the, for some weird reason, this is the only one that came to mind. <laughs> like I said, I grew up in the 80s. And I used to live by Solid Gold. Does anybody ever remember this show? This was like, I don't know, is there even a comparison today, really? They would have artists on, and they would sing, and then they'd have, like, the, the new songs that were, like, hits that week, or... Yeah, I think it was that, a weekly thing. And they would have the Solid Gold Dancers. And I always wanted to be a Solid Gold Dancer. <laughs> that was, like, my dream. I wanted to be a Solid Gold Dancer. I have no sense of rhythm, can't dance with beans, but... You know, the long-haired lady who was, like, the leader of the troupe was always my favorite. And for some weird reason, those spheres they used to dance around and over always seemed to fascinate me. Just the, the skill of them dancing over these pillars. And I always wondered if they, like, toppled at some point. <laughs> I have no idea. So that that's the weird thing. I used I always wanted to be a solid gold dancer. <laughs> I miss shows like that. We need to bring those back. Why aren't those things on, like, TV land or whatever? So that is the long-winded getting to know you whether you want to or not tag. <laughs> So, any questions or comments or any other questions you might be remotely interested in me babbling about, yo below and subscribe if you're willing, and I shall see you in the next video, if I ever get them edited and <laughs> up and running.